There were only a handful of us who knew that the president was about to announce to the public the presence of the 97 in Imstranka. Meaning that's the most likely motive for the attempted assassination to silence the president. The character I play is President Elias Martinez. He's the, um, a newly elected president who comes into office and he learns of these detainees, we call them, but these, this group of people who have been detained since 1944. Investigation's already underway. He feels it is absolutely the wrong thing to have them in prison. It's un-American, inhumane, so he's going to release them. Who investigates the investigator? By doing that, and the idea of doing that, angers a lot of people who are against it, very close to the president, within his administration. Our responsibility is to protect the American public as a whole. Identity is really the, the, the predominant theme of this entire show. Not when the truth is that we've been infiltrated by an unknown number of non-humans who possess devastating technological power that we have no defense against. Identity. Who are we? Who are they? Who are these other people, these non-humans, but they look like us? Who are they? Could their deaths have been the result of whatever process transported the plane here? My character is, is Afro-Cuban. From its inception four years ago, they wanted to keep the first family Latino because it's an allegory to immigration. It's an allegory to, in his case, a son of an immigrant whose parents were Afro-Cuban, came to this country in the 50s. How does a son of an immigrant feel about these outsiders, these other people, and how we treat them? This wasn't supposed to happen. That's all you have to say. Every episode is a cliffhanger, and this one tonight, the third episode, is no different. Uh, you don't want to miss the last five minutes, because what happens is something we'll be talking about at the water coolers tomorrow morning. I'll tell you this, it has to do with um, the fact that these 200 people on this plane uh, have died and have been murdered. And what we do with that and how we cover that up, do we cover that up as the United States government? or not. Whoever can help me find the people who did this will be released permanently to live free among us. It won't work. We will stand together. They've lived behind bars for 66 years, and now they no longer have any hope of release. Do you really think out of all your people, one won't talk?